Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Hopefully you guys are right in the middle or, um, I don't know, beginning, middle, end of your into orbit season. Sorry if you didn't qualify or if you've gone to your uh, qualifiers and did not do as well as you thought. Uh, congrats if you guys did qualify and you're moving on. And some of you have said you haven't even gone to your qualifier yet. So I know uh, schedules are different around the world and around the country. Uh, this video is going to be focusing on the robot game and how the judges and refs handle the scoring of your team. Um, it's not meant to be some type of rant video, um, but I do have possibly maybe some suggestions that maybe can clean up the process and make sure that every team gets their deserved points. So here is how it usually works when you go to competitions. Your team does their two and a half minutes of the robot game. And when, those, when that time is up, the refs will go over with the two drivers um, what, what it was they had completed, and then they sign their name basically saying yes to everything. Let me take a breath on that. That's the problem I'm, I'm having, and I'd like to see a possible solution. You guys can think I'm crazy. In the comments section, you can say I agree. You can say I disagree. And maybe we can open up a discussion about it. Here's the problem I have. Some of these students are really young. Some of the some of the times at the competition, things are so crazy that it's hard for students to go over everything with the ref and make sure that that scorecard is correct. So there's one little suggestion I would say, and you guys can tell me what you think. If we are in the age of technology, I'm wondering why we can't have the score or the ref have a tablet with them uh, when they're going over the missions. You guys have seen my video that has the website where you can actually check off what missions you've done and it actually adds up the points for you. I'm, I'm just wondering why the ref can't do that with the students. Um, I'm not trying to make fun or you know, poke, you know, poke fun at the pencil and paper issue, but in 2018, I think we should be going more techno technological. I'm wondering why the ref can't show the team what they did. Here is your point total. Use your finger and sign down here if you agree. Um, the thing that I think is missing is that point total. I think you can tell the students you did this, 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 and this. And if, you, and if they don't see the point total, it, they might easily just go, okay, and then when the scores go up um, to show them what their score is, then they're scratching their heads going, wait a second, that doesn't add up to what you know we thought we did as far as missions. And I've had teams do that at competitions. They'll sign off saying, you know, we did this, and then the point total doesn't match. And so all I'm asking is for the ref to have some type of tablet and saying, you did this mission, you did this, 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 and this, and here is your point total. So the students can go, okay, that looks about right. And to be able to question things on the screen, rather than looking at a piece of paper with no total and then having them sign for that. And I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, Mr. Hino, it's about the students being responsible, being able to calculate, being able to look and go over that. And I get that. The students should be able to do that but I think the student should see a point total. I think they should be able to see what everything was worth before they sign that paper. Um, and that's just what I think. You guys can tell me I'm crazy. Um, it, on this last uh, qualifier that my team went to, um, they did mess up and, it, and my students did say it was our bad, Miss, you know, we didn't catch it. They had done the solar panels um, the ref I saw nodded like they had done it um, and they missed it on their paper totally their fault and I agree but I'm thinking if my students had seen their point total they would have been able to catch that and go wait a second can we go over that again because we should be able to get higher than that that amount of points so I'm just throwing that out as a possible solution for these issues you can tell me down in the comments section, Mr. You know, we don't need it, everything's fine. 
Or if you're a coach like me that has had that happen before, you can maybe say, I agree, we should have some type of a better scoring system than just a pencil and paper to score and calculate their team's points. You guys let me know. That's just my point of the day, and I'll see what you guys say, okay? All right, everybody. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I'll catch you um, hopefully at Legoland for those of you that qualified and are in the Southern California area. If you're around the world or around the country, good luck to you guys. I will catch you. Uh, I am out.